Welcome everyone. So we're back with uh, the welcome party, or the welcoming party. I uh, just had to wait 24 hours. I couldn't find really a seat in here. I can't even sit on that. It does a weird animation where it essentially just, um, you stand frozen. So I had to go out back to a settlement to go to, to our sleep. Hi. With the vertebrate airworthy, we're ready to proceed with the next part of our plan. Reaching command. You've helped us get this far. Now I would appreciate your continued assistance. We don't know what the situation at command may be. I would strongly suggest equipping yourself well, cover any eventualities. I'm all good on that one. Funnily enough, they're like that. So like we, we essentially carry around nearly anything, pretty much. Tell me about my role in this. Upon arrival, you are to assist Captain Peterson and myself in investigating the facility. Okie dokie. You've proven yourself useful so far. Continue to do so and we'll ensure you are appropriately rewarded. I can't wait to see what the uh, oil rig looks like. I remember it from the first one. That was a pain because I remember the second terminal was in like the... The lab thing. That was No, the third one. And that was the one I actually had to... Um, I had to stop recording for the last time. Actually, like it took me a while to find it. I'm ready. Good. Captain Peterson and I will be equipping some suits of the T-51 power armor we found stored here. Oh! Time to go. Oh my god, they did not have that last time. At least I, I do not remember it, but oh my god, that's awesome. Oh my god, that is awesome. Are we... Oh, this is sick. We're going to be flying right out. Dude... <laughs> that is awesome. Connecting we actually elevator. get to do this. Sending command. Oh my god. This is this is probably one of the coolest I don't know what you call it, not cutscenes, but like parts of the mission so far I went in like four uh four missions in. Oh. We are go. I thought we were Oil gonna be level. fully going and fully out. Damn. Better get comfortable. ETA is three hours. Oh my. Remember, when we land, Fitzpatrick stays with Dr. Kane. The rest of us will investigate command. Yes, yes sir. sir. That's pretty cool. Go. What if we get a companion and stuff? Ooh, what if we get to fight um, Liberty Prime? That was one of the coolest things back in Fallout 3, I must say. Okay. Fitzpatrick, can you oh yeah, we'll do it. I thought it was... Yes, I thought sir. we were getting black screen then. Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. Oh, there we go. You copy, over. So the submarine Command. type thing there. Command, this is Victor Bravo 3504. Do you copy, over. I don't like this. I can't make out any activity from here. Lieutenant, before we... Is that a submarine? Out, circle the oil rig. Let's get eyes on the situation. Yes, sir. ETA, I am really bad at um, aiming at times, so this ain't going to be fun. If I remember correctly, yeah, we have to those like evil ghouls and stuff. Wait, so am I going to have the general with me? Wait, if I'm the general, the Minutemen, do we have like te technically we're the same rank then? Hmm. Oh my God. What? I don't see it. Ooh, I don't remember that ship being there last time. I'm not seeing anyone. Pretty cool. Are those corpses? I know I can't see. What are you seeing? This is so cool. Amazing what they've done with this. Completely fleshed out. Like I would say, it's a completely different mod. I would so recommend playing with this with a normal playthrough. But I don't see no corpses. Oh, I won't know. There's one. There's one just there. I'm bringing the bird into land. It's gonna be awesome. So is that actually a corpse? A skeleton corpse, or is that a ghoul? Huh. 
Yeah, this is very different. Last time, or well, the first time when we go here, that we're like, um. Huh? Um, I'll say, yeah. Uh, first, uh, what mod of this, essentially, we go onto an actual landing pad. Not this one. Um, this is still pretty cool. Well, I thought you were the flyer. Ooh. I shall let you come down to us. Um, I suppose we're going this way. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, this is going to be really weird for me because I don't remember none of this. Completely different location altogether. Oh god, there's more. Just amazing. <laughs> Stay frosty. Say goodbye to your leg. Time to get all our criticals back. Ah, so we can actually see just to the right there that um, the corpses, like actual corpses. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, it's moving. Freaky. That's the general. That's Captain P. So why didn't I get no power armor? I mean, I know we get it later on, but yeah. Why didn't I get any now? I thought I was an asset. One thing I kind of don't like with skeletons in this is like this whole, um, like their outfits are less like pristine sort of thing, and like they're complete like. The skeletons aren't, like, they're not bleached or anything, but they're, they're almost like they are reasonably fresh, but they're not, because they're not brown or anything. Um, oh, here we go. Okay, I have no idea where the hell I'm going. <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool. What? Oh, this will be easy. Ooh, laser turrets. Okay, that's something we so have to get on. Now for the criticals to begin. And we're probably going to miss that one dude who I didn't get through a chair. I've got the perk to be able to shoot through chairs and like anything essentially. Amazing. Again, this is complete, like, obviously, I've, I'll be saying it a lot, it's completely different the first one, but, like, there was never anything like this at all. I don't even know where the lab wing would be. This is, like, all completely, completely different. Oh, God. Um, but in terms of, like, where everything will be, I will have no idea at all. Okay, let's do this. Wait, did I kill everything in this heat more ran up? What's going on? Okay.
Okay, we've still got more. Ooh. I like that. <coughs> Don't have a card. Ooh, card reader. Really nice. So I said we're gonna have to scavenge for that. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. Kind of good and bad is like, I know some of the locations, I sort of remember some of the quests, but also don't. Um, fun way into the military wing. Is that it here? No way to pick this. Science. Have to find the card. Right. <clears throat> I've got your back. Let's move. Uh, <clears throat> Stay alert. These creatures can come at us from anywhere. Hold it right mm. there. Oh. Identify yourself to me. Ooh. This is a restricted area. What? General Russell Ward, United States Army. Just what the hell is going on here? General, we need to talk. There's hostels all around and most doors are jammed. You need to go left and make your way up the catwalks. This is the phenomenal. Me still works. It'll bring you to the war room. Meet me in there. It's the safest place on the oil rig. Understood. Let's move out. Words cannot express my uh, absolute amazing. I don't know as well, I can't as can't explain that, but I just, I just love it. Absolutely amazing. This is probably actually one of the best quests so far I have ever looked at. I mean, yes, this is a remake of the of the old one, but still, like this is just phenomenal. And um, now, when did I say to, to your right or left? I think it was this one. <gasps> okay. We get no, uh, we get no, uh, thing for it. Okay, like there's that that mean more ghouls on here as well than last time. That stranger, oh, the stranger, she wasn't there last time. It was essentially just getting here, clear it out, and then boom. Oh, the armory. Ooh. Ah, damn. There's nobody to get in there. Like, is there? Ah, oh, no. Okay, so that's going to be a new thing we can unlock. That's going to be pretty cool. Also, um, yeah, I've got some of the mods to to add, like, their um, the armors and stuff. Training area. That's cool. That's new, I think. <laughs> Love it. Where'd it go? Okay, so that's a tad glitchy, but I don't care, it's still an amazing thing. I can't wait to unlock the armor in that. I'm wondering if we get our own power armor. I'm questioning the first one we do. What else are we gonna get in this? Ooh. We all oh, I can't my guess is we're gonna essentially have to turn on the, the turrets to clear everything out properly. How? I've seen your files, sir. You were supposed to be here two hundred years ago. What happened? Hey, look at me. We can talk about that later. Right now I need to know what happened here. Who are you, soldier? I'm Colonel Whitehill. I served here under General Douglas up until twenty two seventy nine, when the lab suffered hmm. a containment breach. After ah. that, everything fell apart. Those of us that didn't die abandoned the oil rig and either went into hiding or deserted. God, how could this happen? And these creatures, how many are there? How do we get rid of them? Those things are ghouls. The labs were working on some sort of project to create and use them as fodder. Ah. It went very badly. 
The oil rig's defenses were down, so we were sitting ducks. I returned here a few days ago with salvaged equipment to repair the targeting computer. It's all in Ooh. place now. The only thing left to do is restart the reactors, and the defenses should do the rest. Oh my god. Take our friend with you and get those reactors online. Captain Peterson and I will show up here. Dismissed. <laughs> Alright, I take it where we're uh, going to have to go do the reactor ourselves. Okay. This won't be easy. Then. There's a lot of ghouls roaming the oil rig. Nah, Are you ready? Fine. Yeah. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Alright, first things first. Take this ID card. <laughs> the oil rig's currently on lockdown. If we want to get to the reactors, we need to override it. To okay. do that, you need to send an override command from the terminals of General Douglas, Dr. Richmond, and Senator Clark. Let's move Very on. good. So yeah, since you like the first one now, um, only thing is obviously, oh my god, so we actually got um, some waypoints. That I love. The first one was a pain. <coughs> I will admit that. Like, it was still fun trying to find them. But on the same hand, they were really annoying to try and find as well. So, I will admit that. I do like to try and find things at times, but it was at a point, like, I actually got really annoyed in the first one. Um, I thought that was one of them then. Um, I don't know, we're going. <laughs> but yeah, the first one, I actually got really annoyed because I, I don't know how long I actually spent trying to find it. I finally did. But yeah, not without a lot of searching, which as this really frustrated me a lot it did. But I'm happy to see that there are waypoints in this. Plus, if you're someone who just wants to do the, the quest, not really trying to do the um, find the things sort of, sort of scenario, like it's where it's really good for that. Because you don't have to obviously try and search around for ages. Um... Yeah, well. Surprise! The hell are you? You don't look like no general or anything. But also like with this, they say essentially where you're going. Because, um... Like, it makes sense since you're in the, all the, sort of, main areas, so to speak. I love what they've done here. Size down, like, little um, vehicles and stuff. And I think those, like, air vent things, but they look nice. Because they're like little lights. like it. Very good. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> I thought she was a ghoul walk, uh, run past her. I thought we were about to be overran. Ah. Would need the key. Oh, okay, we're just like side by side on those ones. Fair enough. What was that? Nothing. Yeah, I think they heard us as well. Yep. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> that should do it. We need to head. I'm gonna look at that. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm assuming uh, these would be the sort of, qu not quarantine, but sort of lab areas. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um. Okay. Where, where do we go? Back up this way. I, no, um... 
Hmm. Oh, I'm, I was going to say, I hope they remove all these, but obviously they will be removed once we get everything restored. We're just having to um, wander around at the moment, try and... I'm trying to remember exactly... I know it's this way, sort of. Oh. Ah. That's understandable, like, that would be put onto it sort of thing, and being paint, it would... Yeah, it'd be difficult, I reckon, to put on. Um, right, so we have to go down the reactor. So, do we actually... There we go. Um, there is no reactor room option. Another level? Um, hmm. I'd assume so. So... Oh, there isn't a you are he you're here scenario here. Um, oh no, that might be where we are. That's where we are set. Exit. He's a chunky dude. <laughs> Ooh. I think I've already got one of them. Um, hmm. And how are we going to get down there? Why is it... Oh, okay, yeah, I'm looking at... I'm thinking we have to go down through the elevator. Ah! Right. Uh-oh. Um... Wait, hold up. Wasn't there more? This elevator is not functional without power. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> oh my god, they're coming from everywhere. I thought we were going to be massively swarmed by them then. Well, I mean, I've got... Ooh, there we go. I will happily take some of this stuff. Hazmat suit. We don't need a hazmat suit, right? Famous last words. No? I thought it was going to be a reactor we're leak. Here. This is the reactor control room. Are you ready to restart the reactor? Right. Mm. Yeah, what, what do you need to me do? to do? I'll have a look at the terminal and see what the situation is. Okie dokie. By the looks of it, we got lucky. I like the, the outfit. still intact. With it's the sort of black of gloves. The coils and nuclear agitators. You should be able Although to one uh, the shouldn't have the uh, thing there. This is important. You need to insert the agitators in the lower insertion point and the dampeners in the upper insertion point. Don't mix it up. Um, I'll power on each reactor as you insert the components. When both are on, I'll be able to restore the defenses. Wait, hold up. Just be careful. Which one's I'm what? I'm a rad leak in there. There should be oh, some equipment um. around here that can help protect you if you need it. <sighs> one last thing. Good. Those bulkheads will lock behind you to contain the rads. I should be able to unlock Ooh. them once the reactors are on. Good luck. Hold up. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> I've already forgotten which one's meant to go where. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Was it agitated on the top? No, dude, go. I'm trying to remember where what meant to go where. I don't know if any of them would bait in them or anything. 
I don't think they would have. Oh, there we go. Agitator. <coughs> no, look, get. Right, that should be all of this. Um, okay, we can't actually jump down there. Um, okay. Rads aren't actually too bad. Um, okay, yeah, we're not doing that yet. Deafening coil. So there's going to be one more we've got to find. Could be there. Right. I think that's dampening coil one. Uh oh. Oh god, no, we've done the wrong one. You didn't let me ask you again, I forgot. <laughs> I, w I forgot. <laughs> I was trying to remember dampening coil or agitator for the bottom. I could have sworn it was dampening coil for the bottom. It's so, right, so agitator for the bottom. Oh, well, that's a stupid ass design for a reactor. Giving you the option to just install either on either top or bottom. Like, what, what's that? What, you know, what? Oh my god, I thought it was going to blow up then. But, like, why would you have the option to put either something that has to go. Yeah, like, the dampening core has to go on top, so I only have an option for the top. Oh god. Ah, um, there we go, there's some rads. But so, I don't know if that's how real life reactors work, like nuclear ones, but, um... I think that's kind of dumb if they do work like that, where it's like, you've got the chance of essentially blowing it up, by putting the wrong component in it. Oop! They won't see me though. Let me out. Please let me out. Please let me out, please. I mean, we've got the ammunition for it, so. Do this like teleport out of nowhere. Um, I've almost got it. <laughs> just a little longer. Don't worry, we're good here. Yeah, I think we might have switched back to that. Nice. Yeah, not the greatest this at the moment. So I'm a, I'm a high level, so uh, you've really got to use vats to be able to do the damage. Because I got the vats perks. What the stuff? Oh my god, it's a bloated one. But, um, yeah, Ziz, you've really got to use some of those VAT perks to be able to do a lot of damage to things at times in this. Except for that. Hello. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, what to aggro on us at the moment. Maybe it's properly up top, up top. But yeah, this is hopefully we get uh, all this cleared up and we don't have to be trying to find our ways around stairs. Hopefully. Going up. Ground floor. Um, 
That way. That's the way we go. Uh oh. Indeed. Ooh. Yeah, I can see how they that are easily ever ran here. <laughs> Guess it was nothing. Stop wasting time. You and Colonel Whitehill need targets locked. Dude, we finished. Target neutralized. I was told to come back to you. Stop wasting time. You and Colonel Whitehill need to get the oil rigs defenses online. Move. We are. We have. They're all done. <gasps> Is that a Saltron? Oh my god, it is an assault tron I can hear. Oh god, it's an assault tron I can hear. There we go. Right, so yeah, we have done that. Can we do it and can we talk to you now? Hey. One thing has gone to plan. Good work, you two. It's encouraging that so much seems to have powered on. Maybe most of the damage here is in fact superficial. What we need now, most of all, is manpower. Permission to speak, sir? Granted, Colonel. When we lost the oil rig, we also lost the ability to communicate with other outposts in the region. I don't know how many of those outposts are still around, but if we could bring the comms equipment back online, we could order them to regroup here. I see. Do we have the necessary equipment to restore communications? We don't, but I know where we could find it. You probably saw Ooh. the USNS Harper stranded not far from here when you flew in. It was the oil rig's primary supply oh. vessel. During the evacuation, some troops tried to flee on it. So that's what I that is. The ship broke down not long after. I don't know what Ooh, happened my to those God, look at her but if anywhere has the equipment we need, Ghouls. it's there. Excellent. That will be our immediate objective. Lieutenant Fitzpatrick will take our friend here to the USNS. I use like talking. I'm like the piggy in the middle. Colonel, I believe a full debrief is in order. Talking yes, through sir. me is. I realize that I have not been forthcoming with you about who we are exactly. You've helped us get this far. So the Enclave. Time I tell you. We are the Enclave, the last bastion of <gasps> America. It is our duty to undo the damage caused by the Great War, and I will ensure we succeed. From what I have seen here today, we have a lot of work to do. I extend to you an invitation to join us in this work. The strap say no. <laughs> I won't hmm, I wonder what would happen if I do that. I can't. Oh. Is that so? Uh-oh. You're on your own. I will extend to you a rare courtesy. Normally we'd kill traitors. For you though, incapacitate him. Uh, can't see. Wait, what? Ooh. Ooh. Secret part. Ah. Damn. You're now ooh, okay, yes, yeah, so that's how you become enemies with them. Cool. Well, that's always a cool thing. Why is like the I like it when they add stuff like that's kind of like in Fallout through the Enclave. They incapacitate you with like a EMP bomb type thing, sort of. Who are you people exactly? The Enclave came to be long before the bombs dropped. The nation's brightest minds, our best fighters, our devoted politicians, all as one. From the shadows, we worked uh -huh. tirelessly for the good of our country. We made sure that no matter the threat. Inside or out, we were ready. We were the true patriots. Now we are the continuation of the United States of America, and we are duty bound to rebuild it. Your cause seems noble. Yeah. I'm pleased you think so. You are proving to be valuable to us. Find Lieutenant Fitzpatrick at the Vertebird when you're ready to head for the ship. 
Okay, wait to the ship. Oh, yeah, that's right, the ship. Right, so that was finishing up the welcome party. Next time we're doing the harbour. Or harper? I don't know how to pronounce that. Harpeter? Harper? Something like that. Um, again, I love that. It's like the unique sort of. I'd like to see how they make that. That's going to be cool. Um, well, anyway, uh, we will be on. Uh, we'll be doing uh, the harbour. Harbour? Next time. Um, can't wait to see what's going to go on with that. I know we're obviously going to do that boat, but um, we shall see. Um, other than that, hope everyone has enjoyed and see everybody next time.